You know, the average NFL career lasts about 3.4 years. That means by the time you hit your late 20s, at a time when many people are just getting their careers in gear, you're looking for another one. That's the scary reality some athletes face. Now, in the NFL, you get an injury settlement, could be paid for your trouble and your pain, and you're gone. Keep in mind, there are 53 guys in every NFL locker room, and many are far closer to being cut than they are being voted to the Pro Bowl. Our next guest knows what that harsh reality is like and what happens after the glory is gone. Matt Mayberry is a former NFL player with the Chicago Bears. He joins us from Chicago tonight. Suffered a broken ankle in the preseason, career over, but then he became a successful motivational speaker and now spends those talks discussing how to make the most of your life for an athlete or anyone else. And he's on SportsCenter tonight. First things first, why do you think, Matt, so many athletes simply have trouble adjusting to life after their careers end? You know, I think it's a lot of reasons, Zub. I think there's, you know, I think each individual case is completely different. I know for me personally, um, and even a lot of my friends who have played in the NFL, whether it's three years or six years, it's identity. You know, they let that sport that they played since they were six years old identify, you know, really be their identity. And once that sport comes to an end, whether it's an injury, whether it's retirement, whether you're forced to leave the game, whether you get cut for a last time, when you let that sport define you, it's almost like your whole world come cr comes crashing down on you. So I think the more you can understand that it's a sport that can really help mold you and to become the best version of yourself and, and really give you the tools that you need to be successful once you leave the game, I think you're the better off you'll be. I had a coach in college named Terry Hepner who always told me, Matt, football's what you do, it's not who you are. And because of those words, because of those words he told me, my life was never the same again. Wow, how about that? And we all know the impact that the late coach Hepner certainly had at Indiana. Now, you say it's part of your DNA, but you need some new genes eventually when you want to move on. That said, you're an investment for a lot of NFL teams. When it's over, I've often wondered this, do NFL teams offer any assistance into the transition guys make when they're moving out on their own away from football? You know, it's a great question. A lot of NFL teams and even NBA teams and I have you know, friends in every professional sport, whatever the sport may be, and they offer programs that are going to help you. How do you come to grips with your sport being over with, you know, when you played it for, since you were a young kid? You know, whether it's a financial, you know, m management class, whether it's how do you conduct yourself when you go out with your friends, or whether it's, you know, going into entrepreneurship when your career is over with. They offer those types of programs when you're still playing, but I don't think it's an obligation for an organization to, you know, hold your hand every step of the way once you do retire. I mean, think of it, a great analogy, Zubin, is think of you work in the financial industry and then you come to decide that you want to start your own company become an entrepreneur that financial company that you've been with for the past three four ten years is not going to hold your hand every step of the way just because you want to embark on a new journey in entrepreneurship fair enough you're an adult you got to make your own choices and the right ones now you have a book coming out right. in september september 6 called winning play that discusses tackling adversity apropos but i saw in a forbes magazine profile of you that a high school guidance counselor told you that by your 18th birthday, he said you'd either be in prison or dead. How can the guy I'm talking to right now, listening to you talk the way you are so articulately, how could I hear that from your guidance counselor? You know, whether I'm, going, I'm speaking to corporate executives all around the country or even a university's athletic team, I'll always say association is everything. You are who you hang out with. You show me your five closest friends. I'll show you where your future is headed. And for me, when I was 16 years old, uh, kind of put in perspective for you, I was hanging around drug addicts. I was hanging around people that were committing crimes. Every wrong thing that you could possibly think, that's what I was doing. Those are the habits that I instilled because of who I was associating with on a daily basis. Uh, and to kind of put in perspective for you, my guidance counselor told me I'd be dead or in prison because I've done every single drug besides heroin. That's how I was living my life at 16 years old. So that's why my guidance counselor told me these are the only two things left that are going to happen if you don't get your act together. And you proved him wrong. Thankfully, that is the case, and you're helping others along the way. Before I let Absolutely. you go, let's look at this a little bit from hindsight. I know hindsight's 2020, but just let's play it here. What's the one thing mm -hmm. you wish you knew back then when you were playing that you're fully cognizant of right now? You know, I think there's a lot of things. I don't necessarily have many regrets, but I think the one thing, as cliche as it sounds, I think it's to cherish every moment. You know, if I could go back and redo my whole athletic career, whether that's at Indiana University, whether that's with the Chicago Bears, 
I really just want to cherish every moment and really live every day to the fullest. It sounds so cliche, but I think we as athletes, professional athletes especially, we wake up every morning, we try to win championships, we just let the hustle and bustle of life get to us without really cherishing each and every moment. So if I had to pick one, I would say cherish every moment. Well said. I even heard Kobe Bryant after his final game say he played in the league 20 years and boom, it went by in a flash. I can only imagine for the guys that don't play 20 years, which exactly. is the majority of people, how quickly it can go. Once again, the book, Winning Play, it is out September 6th. If you like what you heard here, I'm sure you'll like what you read. Thanks for the insight tonight, Matt. Thanks so much, Jubin. I really appreciate it. Still to come, Sports Center is going to ESPN News at the top of the hour, and that's your top performer of the day. Hands down. Never heard of any? You will in minutes on ESPN News. We're back to wrap it up and send you to the NFL schedule release after this. Attack!